Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't want to do this. You wanted to see a spoiler free Infinity War reaction. My initial reaction walking out of the theater is what the hell did I just pay for? I'm still trying to gather my thoughts. I'm big enough to realize that I trusted the Russos a little bit too much. How does it function differently from a diff from any other Marvel movie? It doesn't. It's it's a Marvel movie. That's exactly how it functions. At times the stakes did not feel high enough and then at times they felt far too high and then the movie ends. My main non-spoilery complaint is that there is no character development for anybody other than Thanos. Steve has like maybe five minutes of screen time and like four lines. Tony took up way too much time. Doctor Strange took up way too much time. There's a certain relationship in this movie that is elevated from the other movies that it's supposed to be in but it's elevated so quickly because of the stakes that the Russos were trying to build up that it doesn't feel quite earned yet. I'm also very confused about the last five minutes of the movie. Everybody forgot that Peter Dinklage was in this movie until he shows up and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa! The girl next to me in the theater was like, hey, hey, isn't that Tyrion from Game of Thrones? And I like didn't say it to her because that would be weird in the middle of a movie, but I really wanted to be like, yes it is, friend. So the movie opens exactly where I thought it was going to and immediately I was on high alert. Like my anxiety level was above my head. I was like not okay with what I was watching at all. Lightning Husband did not come out unscathed, but I'm not sad. The fact that it picks up legitimately two minutes after Ragnarok ends, it sits heavy on my soul. I think that might be what I'm the most sad about. This boy needs a nap. This movie actually made me care about Wanda and I have never really cared about Wanda before except for like the five minutes she gets with Pietro. Okoye, perfect, wonderful, great, amazing, I love her. Where the hell is Kraglin? My girl Nebula has been robbed of so much. Here's the thing that I'm not okay with. Um, I don't know who any of Thanos' children are besides Gamora and Nebula and like none of the other characters introduce themselves. There's the wrinkly guy and then there's like the big guy that doesn't speak and then there's the blue haired girl. How am I? as a moviegoer, not a comic reader, supposed to know who they are. The CGI was okay. The one blue-haired character that was one of the children of Thanos, very clearly CGI, like not great CGI. Bucky is straight up at a rehab, pretty much, and we get three minutes with him. The Russos tried to make Thanos like somewhat sympathetic. I don't care about Thanos. Building up sympathy with the genocidal tyrant really doesn't work, no matter what kind of sympathy it is. There are a few things that happened to like four characters that really, really mattered to me. First was Steve's reveal. How dare you showing up like a freaking snack and a half? How dare you, Steven Rogers? My main question about the whole movie is like, clearly Thanos gave himself the right, but who gave Thanos the right? For those who have not seen the movie, there is only one end credit scene that looks like two. There's only one. One end credit scene. That scene finally recognizes that Maria Hill is actually a part of the MCU and not just Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So there's one character that absolutely broke my heart at the very end. It's just heart shattering. Forget about breaking. Everything is shattered. It's so sad. Is this my favorite Marvel movie? No. Not by far. Is it my least favorite? No, I think Age of Ultron still kind of holds that spot. I just don't know how I feel about it. I don't know where I rank it in my list of Marvel movies. I don't know how they expect us to go from Infinity War straight into Ant-Man and the Wasp. We have like three months time between the two. And I'm just not prepared for that kind of emotional distance. I'm ready for Carol Danvers and Kamala Khan and uh, I'm really hoping Monica Rambo. I've already rambled for far too long. I don't think I spoiled that much, if anything at all. If I did, 
by accident, go ahead, chew me out in the comments for it. I'm very bad at filtering spoilers. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to also click the bell below so that you don't miss any of our other videos because this one was so much fun, wasn't it? If you're not already subscribed to The Princess and the Scrivener, please do so down below, especially if you'd like to see more videos on Disney, intersectional feminism, pop culture critiques, and more. I need an eight hour nap at 11.30 at night, so sleep. Bye.